off on a little scouting adventure. I heard this canyon burnt pretty bad about a couple of years ago. It's not looking so good. <laughs> but the good news is I'm crossing my fingers. I still got another six miles till I can look over this pass that I usually hunt. So we're gonna keep pushing forward and hopefully cross our fingers. This canyon did not burn. That'd be devastating. I'd, I'd cry, I think. Maybe a little tear. <laughs> Just still a beautiful day. And we're still getting into these patches like right up here. Kind of see it. Still got some pine trees around here that didn't get burnt. So I'm hoping that uh, we're still gonna be good to go. Well, we're definitely getting closer. We're, I'm about a half mile. If you look up on that ridge up there, that's where I gotta go to get up to this pass to look over into this canyon that I hunt. So, but it's looking pretty good. We're back into live trees again. No, you know, it's not burnt anymore, so. Moment of truth right here. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Holy. Well, it looks like it burnt to a crisp. It looks like there's little patches of, of open, or not open, but of, of live pine, not burnt. And so I think it's gonna be all right to hunt. I think it's gonna be really good. I'm looking at the place where I usually go hunt, where majority of the elk usually hang. And, uh, looks pretty good over there looks looks like it missed that whole thing but I'm gonna get my binoculars out and take a look see but look at this is go in a little bit this gorgeous I'm gonna tie my horse up I'm gonna walk off to this edge here Ooh, getting old come on old Leroy got my lunch my camera binoculars since I think we're pushing 12,000 feet right here. So, it's not every day you get to have lunch up on the mountain like this. It's a good feeling, so. My horse don't take off without me. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be awful, wouldn't it? I think what it's gonna do, it's gonna push, like I'm looking right now. Let me pull my nose up and see. So I can't see my main camp, but it's burnt there. Um, where I had my tree stand, that's burnt. <laughs> well, I am just gonna have lunch really quick. Look at these spoiled dogs. Oh, they love some jerky. You, you guys did good today. They are so out of shape. Bless their hearts. <laughs> so, but I just got done glassing a little bit more. I think it's going to be money. Because if you look at it where a lot of elk would hang, they're going to get pushed up in this area. I just got done glassing that. And there's a lot of live pine mixed in with the burnt pine. So I think it's going to be phenomenal. Huh? And you get, the higher you get, the less it's burnt. So I think it's going to be great. And I'm pretty excited, you know, just talking with that guy. He was just here last night and he said he heard bugles and elk bugling. He said it like two to three down in the bottom there, you know. And so I couldn't tell how far it was, but I'm like, I know this country, and if they're bugling, they're dang close. Because I don't know what it is up here in this high country. The, uh, it's just, it's, the, the bugles do not travel in there. I don't know why, but that's good news. I'm excited. It looks like it's a go. Let's get finished my lunch really quick. I got 
the old smoked oysters with these uh, chicken biscuit, chicken flavored biscuit crackers or whatever they're called. You mix them together, it makes a fine meal. It is delicious. Let the horse rest for a little bit. And then I'm going to uh, head on back to the truck. So, see how it goes. Loading up, getting ready to go in. We're here, trying to get things organized for the big, big show this weekend. I'll turn this around so you guys can see, but we got all the pack saddles all weighed out. So, looks like a, that's all my gear, except the coat. My backpack, my stuff, this is Jason's stuff. We got a cooler in there full of all the food. Tripods, the little chairs, the camping, the, the, uh, the Dutch oven stuff. Well, we're ready. Ready and rocking and rolling. We're ready to go. Here we go, boys. Heading in. But we got a long ride ahead of us. End routes, 18, 19 miles, but depending on where the elk are gonna be, we're just gonna ride, and if we get into some bugles, we'll probably park it right there. And... Beautiful day. Are so good it's starting to get a little darker clouds are starting to come in so hopefully we can make it a little ways before we get to, um, soaked this we're calling for showers here in about noonish and it's 11 so nope yeah we've done probably four and a half five miles probably and uh, got a long ways to go forgot how fun it is coming on these pack trips like this a lot of work Come up here. We're gonna stay up here for probably a week. Hopefully, we can get in some elk. We've always gotten into elk, just haven't really tried very hard. But um, so hopefully, we, we put our A game on this year. So screw it. Let's go after it. See what we can do. We've had several opportunities over the years, just never capitalized on it. Hopefully, this is the year. Well, it's noon. Jason said it was gonna start raining at noon. It's noon. <laughs> We are, it is starting, it is starting to come down. Yeah. Got all our rain going on, so kind of try to keep us, keep us dry. Temperatures dropped big time. Went from like 55 to maybe 42, 43. <laughs> well, that was kind of a quick storm. About 15, 20 minutes of sprinkles decently, and then it started to come down pretty good. And then it's gone. And now it looks like blue skies are coming. So maybe that was our, but it's supposed to be even worse at three o'clock. So, isn't that right, JP? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here we go. Sorry about the bumpiness, but we're rolling. Our first bull elk bugle. <laughs> I don't know. All our, all our stuff's stacked away. We might go after this bull. Should we go up and see if we can kill him? We're, we're gonna go try. We're about seven or eight miles in. Just had a bull bugle just like 200 yards off the trail. Looks like we're going in. Yeah. 
Jason's trying to get his bow off. We got to tie it off in that big mess. So he's hustling. It was a solid bugle. Solid, solid bugle. We need to go a little higher. The wind's going up. Yeah. Ooh, this one's good luck. It's got blood on already. <laughs> From Africa. Africa. What a chance of bull bugling right there. Right? Pretty good. Right. Okay, that's all we need. Two arrows. Let's go. Two. Heard that bull bugle. Stripped down the horse really quick. Got the bow. On this horse. Hopefully, we get it back on. Well, we stopped for a minute. See if we could go get on that bull, but that bull ran across the other side of the canyon and across the creek, and he was moving fast with his cows. We said, "Bag it." We still got a little poke. We've been we've been going about four hours. Two o'clock now. It's got a little butter. A little bit of blue skies. Oh, uh, we're, we're getting closer. But it's pissing down below. You can see it down below us. I can start to feel a little bit of raindrops right now. It's pissing down there and we're about to get it. So, but we're getting close. We are just about on top. Just about there. little bit different than the place where we wanted to be but we're super close the one trail was just jacked up and we're like you know what? let's go up, up and around this other direction so I'm glad we did because the trail was beautiful and I've never been through this area and this is just freaking gorgeous let me check this out it don't get any better than this yeah well we made it to camp camp where we're gonna camp tonight and maybe a couple nights but we found a nice little meadow up here water's close lots of work though that goes into this that's my sleeping bag I got a big one too <laughs> gotta be comfortable when you're up here yep Good. Oh, there he is outside. And then, oh, come back. Good. Amazing how much weight he's lost coming up here. Yeah, he's lost a lot of weight. Dude, we we pushed him pretty hard. We did. We, tr we, we trotted for miles. We did. Yeah. It was awesome. So it was glad awesome. To be up here. We're a little bit further away than I know where the elk are. They're about half a mile, maybe a touch more than that, maybe a mile over. On the back side of that. But this is all great elk country. There's a lot of elk signs sitting right here. So hopefully they wake us up tonight bugling their heads off. But yeah, this is so pretty. I get to see get to see this for the next couple of days. How far do you think we're in? Uh, here we're about my last camp was 18 and a half and we're three miles so we're about 21 miles in here I'd yeah say. just getting the fire started and we need some food cook some hamburgers heck yeah buddy yeah we some coals going we got the griddle there we got uh, for dinner tonight we're doing hamburgers and hot dogs yeah god isn't this cool oh it's amazing up here i can't wait i mean 
I think what we might do, maybe tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. hike over, get up on that rim up there where the cliff, uh -huh. where the cliff is, just right below that, and we'll be able to see that hole. Because right over there is a huge plateau, right over there. I've seen a lot of elk hanging in that country, so. But it's just a good spot. There's more elk on this side than there is that side, so we came over here. And the trail was a lot better. <laughs> and the view is better. Uh, yeah, My gosh. Isn't that incredible? It is. Warm. Get a little hot in the kitchen. All the grease.
make any sense. We've had about a 10, 12 mile an hour wind. You can probably hear it coming in the phone right now. We had a solid wind right in front of us. They're right below us, 80 yards. He's still going down there. I almost think let's grab, let's just run, get down in front of him. Cause he's bugling now. We can start coming back. Did you see that? Yes. He was probably to gather his cows, but. Yeah, he was, he was turning around driving his cows. But what a beautiful bull. I have no idea why he barked. That wind is solid straight in our face the whole time. We've got this big lip on the top of it. It's got a lip like our hair drops down. It's almost kind of cliffy. You see it right there. Drops down. I have no idea. But what a stud bull for up here in yeah, the back he's, country. He's a big bull. Big six. Think, yeah, that's that's one of the bigger bulls that would probably be in this area. Yeah, for sure. So let's grab our boats and let's get going. If not, they're gonna gain gain some acreage on us. Dang it, man. That's what's well, just right there. Yep. It's that coyote. He's not far. He's not far. I bet you that's why that, that bull barked. Because our wind was perfect. Everything was good. But we're going to get moving here. We got to get on this bull quick. He's not far from us. Maybe 200. Maybe a little bit further than that. We're going to work on this edge of this meadow right here. And he's in the trees. We're going to work on and try to get on the side of him. And work in on him. edge we're gonna bugle down in this valley down there there's a bunch of pretty tight shrubs and stuff like that those elk can hide in there but we were just coming up over the ledge and there was what how many cows were there six six cows yep. three yeah. cows and three calves yeah. I was really surprised there wasn't a big bull in with them I was waiting for a bull to come up out of that me too it's weird too because they were right up on top yep. and they went down and they came back up very weird we got over the edge run where'd they go crazy they're just down here eating all that new all fresh the, grass yep all the new vegetation Oops. as i fall <laughs> jeez <laughs> clumsy klutz that's awesome i fell too earlier just a second ago it's slippery this it's been raining quite a bit up here and all this new there's no vegetation to grab or no nothing it's just mud so you just slide all over the place it's uh, windy today it's really windy. They, they cut our wind at 40 yeah, yards. It, it just swirled just enough. That first one that was like, cow's what like, was that? Wait a minute. <laughs> I, smell, I smell Dougie. I smell Dougie. It smells dangerous. <laughs> there would have been a bull in there. Probably would have been, been in trouble. Oh, yeah. Because that, 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 those first cows got to 40 yards. That lead cow got to 40, and I'm like, oh, ho, ho, it's on. We could have smoked them all day long, but they we're Go way on. too far in here for shooting a cow. Yeah, I'm not going to shoot a cow in here. No cows in here. It's just too much work. Yeah, it's got to be a branched antler bull. So, but so heck we're yeah. up here for so. Where is it? It's the first morning. Heck we're yeah. a freaking blast, man. First morning, we're seeing elk everywhere. It's unbelievable. We're having the best time. But man, what a beautiful day today. I mean, had a heck of a day. Almost... I shouldn't say almost, but we got pretty close on that six point bull with all them cows and those, that other group of cows and that deer running at us. And we decided to save our legs for tomorrow, do a huge trip tomorrow, but I'm just getting uh, dinner ready. I got, I got Dougie. He's down getting water for us, pumping us some water and I'm getting supper going. So what we're going tonight is some chicken enchiladas. I mix my chicken, sour cream and, and some green chilies. I just put it in my Dutch oven, put it in there and put a little, Stokes 
put that over the top, put a layer of cheese on, and it is absolutely amazing. Some good coals going. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful evening. The wind's starting to die off now, so can't wait to sit around the campfire and lie to each other. Just got it ready. So this is what it looks like. There you go. We've got everything underneath that. We'll put this, some coals on the top, a little bit of coals on the bottom. Take about a half hour. It'll be perfect. I can't wait. It's going to be a good dinner tonight. Man, the sun's just going down though. And we're going to get ready to eat in about a half hour. Those fellas should be back any time now. I hope. <laughs> Hopefully they catch some horses. Sock! <laughs> Guess what happened? It's been raining. It's cold. No sign of letting up, baby. And our TP tent was leaking, so we had to come in no faithful. <laughs> oh, we got lucky. We brought this tent again. Yeah. This brings back a lot of bad memories in this tent. <sighs> Last time we were up here, we had a, like a foot, a foot and a half of snow, and it was blowing so hard, we were in this tent, and we had snow on our sleeping bags. Luckily, this is just rain. This could be bad. And there's no sign of letting up. That's what you call roughing it. Could be worse though. Definitely could be worse. Well, looks like we got snow up on the peak. <laughs> Definitely got snow on the peaks. More snow on the other side. We got snow there. We got snow up there. And we definitely got more snow up there. It snowed on the tops. It definitely cooled down to get snow because it's cold. But look at that beautiful rainbow. Ha <laughs> ha! Pot of gold at the end of that sucker. Man, hard to get on me there, Dougie. Always are. There we go. Whew, potatoes are looking good. We got rained out this morning. Uh, we just woke up to almost a sleet storm. And then it woke up again. It was clear. And another storm came through, and then another storm came through. So we just kind of hung out in the tent this morning. And we decided morning hunt's kind of over. So why not cook a nice big breakfast? Got some hash browns going in the Dutch oven. Just putting the bacon on. We got eggs over there ready to put on. When I come up here, when I pack in with the horses, I use aluminum Dutch ovens rather than the cast iron, just because of the weight difference. Like this is a 12 inch Dutch oven. It's about, it's right at seven pounds empty. And the cast iron with the 12 inch is 25 pounds. So, makes for a really, really big difference packing. You know? Beautiful breakfast, it was amazing. Now we decided to grab our fishing poles and try our hand at fishing the afternoon. Just got to this big old lake here. Just a beautiful, beautiful lake right up here in the high mountains. What do you think, Dougie? Good. Dougie's got, got one. Woo! Nice brook. Look at this. Oh, that was beautiful. Look at this brook. Look at the red fins. It's a brookie. Yeah, beautiful. Good thing you got real small hands. Make I know, big, right? <laughs> make the fish look big. Yeah, that <laughs> one, that uh, foxtail or whatever. Beautiful fish, Dougie. Yeah. Seven cast, five fish. Just oh, look at this joker. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that one is. Oh yeah. Go, well, you've caught the prettiest ones. Oh my gosh. That is the prettiest fish. Yeah. What do you think, Jay? I love it, man. This, oh, is, get this. this is living right here, boys. Up here, up here elk hunting. That's Afternoon, a... come do a little fishing. Oh yeah. Woo-hoo! Woo That's fur. awesome! Two fur! Lighten it up again. Whoop! Lost track, huh? Oh, yeah, I don't even know how many fish I've caught. Well, I'd say more than 30, Mark. I know I was at least 14, 15 really quick. You guys were hammered. Dude, it was like almost every cast. Awesome. Man, this fishing has been crazy good. Can't keep them off. I wish we could hunt this, this easy. Give them elk a little break. Do a little fishing. Get out there tonight. See what we can find. Magically pull a stick of butter out of my coat. Magically. 
stole from Cam. Turn square. So we just got the fish prepared, ready to go. Just caught it. Just caught it, fresh out of the lake. Do this. So we'll go through some butter in it. Some pepper. I suck at the fish. I don't cook it a whole lot. Just kind of using the seasonings that we had here. All right, so we've always wanted to do this. Go got it kind of loosely. Now we'll just set it on the fire for a second. It's ready to go. Give it just a few minutes on that side. Heck yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool, huh, Jay? Yes, sir. We'll see how that fish tastes. Just over another brookie. Looks like we're gonna be eating pretty good tonight. So, and now we get some butter. That gonna think still trying to move on me. <laughs> That's a, there we go. Stick the butter there. Hold them up real nice. There. I can hear the butter starting to sizzle a little bit in there. That's gonna be so good. Can't wait. That's what you call fresh fish. Well, I think this this choker should be all finished up. Let me get my other glove on because it might be a little warm. So, ooh, it smells so good though. It does. Mm, that... Oh yeah, it's perfect. Really? Yeah, skin should come right off now. Right here. Right. If everything goes right. She's come right off the bone. See how she's falling right off the bone? Mm-hmm. This is so cool. I've always wanted to do this. Look, it's just falling off. Oh yeah. That's cooked to perfection. And there There's you still have some it. There's still some meat. Oh good. Well, let's first try right first here. First try. Oh. Oh my gosh. Best fish I've ever had in my entire life. Okay, I'll be the test of that. Mm, Turn have you some. All right, Dougie, get you some. Because I'm not much of a fish guy, so this this will be the test of how good this really is gonna be. Okay, here we go. First one. Here you go, Dougie. This was the cutthroat. This is yeah. This is the this cut. This is the cut. Yeah, this is a cutthroat. Yeah, pretty freaking good. That's amazing. That, oh, dude, that there's fishy taste to it. I mean, there's a little bit. Mm. But it's not as like that's good. Well, just got back from fishing, sitting back in camp, getting ready to eat some, eat some uh, good grub. Thought about going hunting tonight, but we said, you know what? There's only an hour and a half left, and it's two miles in. We'll go after tomorrow and we'll stay out all day. So, but in camp, let's see if I can. Wish I had that new. Isn't that something? Isn't that cool? Got some mountain goats. Isn't that cool? Three mountain goats right here. We gotta go about, about a mile right before we get into the elk. Guess what? Jason just spotted a cow elk down the big meadow down here. Haven't heard no bugles yet. One cow. One cow so far. There's a bull with her. Yeah. The last six cows that we got on, no bull. That's a bull. <laughs> Let's just wait, girl. What's the wind doing? It's totally different today. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning, though. No wind up here. Just waiting on Doug. I can feel it in my face now. Same thing, just less. Perfect. 
okay though. Let's give it a try at least. Here, Finally found out. Open away. Yeah, we were out of we were out of water. So it was time. I had maybe two or three sips left out of my water and I was like, we better find some water. Cause we're still away from camp. We've been out all day long. Only seen a half full elk. It's been very, very slow today. It's been a bummer. Because yesterday was hot. We should have went after him. Should have stayed on him. We just, we didn't want to push him out of the country, you know? So it's like, dang it. Well, what do we have here, Jay Dog? Dougie drilled through some really deep mud. Sucked off the shoe. I went mud bogging. <laughs> I was like, let's put this thing in four wheel drive. See what it's got. Three shoes, so we're putting one out here in the wild. More rock. Get it nice and flat. I could open up just a little bit, but that's okay, huh? Got the old McDonald's set song on our hip minds. I know, huh? Oh, Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Dougie's loving it. There you go. Whew. Not a lot of air up here at 11,000 feet. It'll be good for the rest of the trip now. Oh, Leroy. Uh, I'm, I like mud bugging. <laughs> I'm riding him. Nah. <laughs> you get boots. I get it. We're fixing to go on a horse ride. We're going to go cover some country real quick. We'll look for some new country. Yes, sir. Horses are ready to dance. I'm on good old boots. Jason's on Leroy. Jason's on the horse that I packed in. Giving no lucky. Lucky has some hurt legs. His arthritis. It's getting old. Thought to give him a break. So we're just gonna go out and see if we can cover some country. <laughs> Be fun. I figure we're gonna go probably, I don't know, six, six to ten miles. We're about two and a half miles from camp. Haven't heard a bugle. But it's a pretty country up here though. Let's 
been a good ride so far. Hopefully we can get some help to bugle. Just, you know, good day. Hear them. Kind of get an idea where they ran off to. But yesterday was super slow. We only seen four, four cows. So, time to up our game. Travel and cover some country. See what we can find. Kind of cool, huh? I guess if you know, you know. But, just working on these trails. Ooh, it is a lip. Hold on to your knickers, we're going straight up. <laughs> That's a big, that was a big, about a two foot ledge. Oh, we can go on the other side. There's a pond. There's water glory up here. So you have a 
It seemed like he was up on top. It seems like he was up here, up in there. How's a good bugle do? Looks like we're gonna have to put the motors on. Put the hiking shoes on. Go. Yeah. Poop. I just spotted that bull. He's a big. He's a big bull. Looked like a big six. He was down in that burnt stuff, and he's walking up into the pines. And he's closer now. He's actually pretty close to where I thought he was. We could be to him in. Single too. Yeah, he's all by himself. He's killable. We're out. Be patient for your shot. Walk right up the edge. Gosh. You just went through? Yeah. So J Dog, what happened? I had a nice little hole. He was right there, right where that big pine is. Yeah. His head was right there. I pulled back. And he stopped. And I saw a hole like put my twenty in there. Yeah. I put it right there. It's like you should make it, you know, I had a decent hole. Yeah. Hit the branch square. Let's go see what my arrow did. He's a good bull, too. He's a good, good bull. We snuck in on that sucker. Shots fired.
that the arrow went in that bowl in a good spot where it's going to kill him. So, we heard him bugle once or twice after this, but I've seen him bugle with arrows in him all the time, so I don't know. Kind of lost for words right now. Kind of frustrating. That was awesome that we stuck in on that bowl. Oh, yeah. We went a long ways. Yeah, we went. We actually went past him and he bugled. We're like, oh, he's behind us. Yeah. We walked like 15 yards, 20 yards. And it's like he's right there, right in our lap. We had our engine set up. It was crazy. Yeah, we didn't get them. Like, I was still out in the open. I saw him coming. I said, sit down. There was nothing I could do. And when I drew back, he just bit me, you know? And so I had a, I looked like I had a hole about like that through. And the bowl was 30. And that was about 23. So, I don't know. I don't know if that arrow went straight up in the air or down below or in him in his neck. Guts, I don't know. But we're going to work down here. Get on his tracks. And get on his tracks and see if we can come up with an arrow or a blood or something. So. Well, guys, what a morning it's been, man. I mean, it was everything from that first bull, almost shooting that first little five point. We came down to the rim, heard another bull bugle. We saw him coming up out of the canyon onto this flat. We ran down to him. I mean, we were boogieing. We were, we were covering some country. We got right up on top of him. He bugled. We almost passed him. And so we had to hurry and just take a quick left to come into him. And he came, we were on him so close that I didn't have a, I really didn't have a good anywhere to sit. So I just sat right right where I was at. So I saw elk there, elk there, and if I would have kept moving, they would have been gone. But that bull made his way right up to me, 33 yards. And his head went behind a tree and I pulled back. And he saw me and he just, and his vitals were kind of behind some uh, trees. I had a hole to shoot through and I thought I could make it through it all day long. And so I pulled back and put my pin right on there, pulled the trigger, and it just was going straight for it, and I hit that branch. And after that, who knows what happened. But the, uh, no blood, no arrow, no dead, no dead elk either. So, and we got on his tracks and followed him for quite some time, as far as we could, and they got in this grass stuff, and we just lost his tracks, but no, there was no blood either, so, um... We're, uh, we're calling it a miss, <laughs> which sucks, uh, because we're, we're back in here so far. It's hard to, when you get an opportunity up here, it's pretty slim. And we had that opportunity that I screwed up, hit a branch, but we still got a little bit more time to keep hunting. So we're just going to keep push forward and forget about that miss and. I'll never forget about that miss, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> that's going to that's gonna wear on me quite some time. All the signs are showing that it was a miss, so no blood. How he acted after. Because usually when you put an arrow in it, they're on that death run, you know, and he stopped. Well, I've seen it both ways, really, but it's hard to say, man. But all the I bummer. Is we missed, and well, I missed. <laughs> And, uh, it's a bummer, man, because it was a stud bull. Oh, he was a stud. He was probably a 310. And up here in the high mountains, you know, we're 20 miles back in here on horse. And it's just just so beautiful back up in here. And it's just, just amazing. It's fun. Well, guys, had a great, great dinner. And now we're just polishing off the peach cobbler now. We saved Dougie a little bit, I think. Some whipped cream. Peach this cobbler. Is up for a little bit of extra. That's wrapping up the evening though. We'll have supper here or finish up our dessert and get in the bed rolls. Get ready for the the trip heading out. Look at Dougie putting all that whipped cream on over oh, there. Dude. Oh my gosh. He's gonna have a sugar rush. He's gonna be running around the the hey, meadow I'm butt not a naked. bad boy for nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We'll see y'all in the morning.